everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Make Code Arcade live stream. I'm Vivian. I'm at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums. And I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Make Code forums. And I'm Hassan at Hassan on the Make Code forums. <laughs> and welcome back, Daryl. Do you want to share anything with our viewers? Thanks. Um, <laughs> I did a lot of woodworking. Um, if you find my Instagram somewhere, you'll probably see it. But I don't know if you can find it. Mm. What's the coolest thing you've ever made? Ever. Um, ever, yeah. That's Was it tough. It might be. I'm actually really proud of this chessboard, which I made. Whoa, so yeah. Except Are you the a algorithm thinks this is the background, so. <laughs> I remember my Looks second good. plan was to make a chess game today. Should we just do that? <laughs> I didn't have <laughs> Well, you're already in a in a game, huh? We, I okay. feel like that'd okay, be awesome we'll, to finish. We'll do chess next. I don't know if there's ever any end for this game, but I'm I was very excited to do like a chess where you like click the thing and you push the move, and we have like, a cutscene where like the pawn like smashes something down. So action chess. But. Mm. Wow, I like it. Harry Potter. I can totally style. see that. Yes, Harry Potter style, but. We're not doing that today, I guess. We're doing my traffic game from yesterday. So if you weren't here yesterday, like Daryl, I'll tell you what we did so far. So I made an eight by eight tile map. I just copied Richter's code from like a few streams ago. Oh no, okay. But I copied it into the JavaScript, into the custom.ts, and then I just put it here. And then when I went back to blocks, it was in the same category. So I dragged that out and made my own, oh no, it's thinking made my own tile set. So let's drive around and see the city. Made lots of sprites with outlines. I've, I've decided that's the way for things to look better for me. We made a little cafe where Hassan can cook us zucchini for Panini. Zucchini paninis. And then we have a little speedometer in the bottom left, which will tell us what our speed is. And if we go over grass, it makes us slow. But if we stay on the road, we go fast. Well, we accelerate. Wow, so. this is quite a thing. Did you make this in one stream? Yeah. I, I did a little bit of extra beforehand doing the, like, tiles. But you most of it was... You get off the, the bike. Oh, oh, right. Thank you. And you can get off the bike and walk around. And then if you you can go back on the bike. And so wow, that's what we have. really cool. Thank you. I have big dreams for this game. <laughs> so um, my... The things I want to do are next are like adding the B button to brake to slow down because right now we have no control over our speed and I think that's fine for like encouraging you to stay on the roads and you'll get faster but if you get off you'll slow down and I want to like max it out but you can also slow down if you push B that should be easy and also I want like a mechanic to be okay so the idea is you start at the start and you're like racing you're like illegal street racing on your little motorbike and you want to go to the bottom and you're racing against somebody but you have to like avoid the police because if they see you they'll be like stop racing on the streets that's dangerous so i need to implement that part too so i think i'll do the b part first since that should be easy and yeah mm, do you guys have thoughts i'm just gonna start doing it <laughs> um so instead of Yesterday, I had it wrap around every one second, but instead of that, I'm going to just have it do min. So we're going to max it out at nine. We have 10 speed tick points. So we'll just min that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait. This should be first. Every one second, we increase the speed and then we reset the thing. Okay, that's. That should be better. Yes. That makes more sense. Okay, cool, cool. And then on B button pressed. Set current. Oh, let's just copy all of this. If we are not walking, I'll put it over here. Then set current speed to be max of current speed minus one and zero. Can't be less than zero, that's illegal. And then we set the speed and then we move the player with the seed that you just, okay, so let's 
decrease. Oh, wow. 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 So easy. Okay. That's one thing. Now let's add some police cards. Mm, I'll make one. Gonna make some more art while I make art. Um, Zvan, did you cook anything yesterday? Uh, no, yesterday was my roommate's cooking day. Okay, which are your days so I can keep track in my mind? <laughs> uh, usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the weekend is kind of a toss up. Uh huh. Do you have like your box? Oh, wait, Monday, Wednesday. Yeah. Today's Wednesday. Okay, yep. so yep. what are you making tonight? Um, I'm trying to remember, I can't remember the exact name of the dish, but I think it's like a ravioli dish with Ooh. like red peppers. Oh. But either that or I, it, it's, but it's like, it, it said it would take like 40, 45 minutes. So I'm just doubling that in my mind. <laughs> Uh, and there's a few dishes which is like, oh, this will take only like 25 minutes, mm -hmm. which is, you know, 50. So I, I might <laughs> go for a shorter dish today um, mm -hmm. and then like save the, the longer one for like a Friday or the weekend. But I mean, it's going to be delicious, but. Mm. Are you making the ravioli, do you know? Uh, I or hope they... not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems intense. <laughs> Making from making pasta from scratch is, is a lot of work, but mm -hmm. it's good. Especially but. if you don't have like the machines. I ha I have a pasta maker and it makes it really easy. And I'm always like, wow, this is so easy. I should make my own How pasta. Pasta do you eat? What? How much pasta do you eat? A lot, because my family makes a lot of noodles at yeah. home. So that's like one of the first things I got when I moved to Seattle was like a pasta machine and also uh -huh. um, a bread machine, so I can make dough. That sounds awesome. Mm. Yeah, I guess if you do eat a lot of pasta, would you say it's like the equivalent of owning it, like a rice maker or? Yeah, yeah, and especially like then it just enables you to like make dumplings at home all the time. Nice. So, um, but a ravioli, though, I feel like those kinds of pastas require like special cutters, right? Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you, you like roll it flat and then. Yeah, you'd have to like cut the shape out. Yeah, it'd be um, cool if they included that in the package. Fair, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, th I think there's like this. Uh, there's like a, a dish that's easier. It's like I think just broccoli and rice with some mm -hmm. uh, flavoring. I forgot what type, but I might just do that because that's like one of the faster dishes. Mm, but broccoli we'll is so good. Yeah, because I have a friend. Uh, we practice dancing once a week so it, you're this huh oh, wait you can't see me um but you're, i'm doing the hand thing oh <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the hand the hand wave thing yeah <laughs> no, no 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 we don't we don't practice that exactly mostly mm -hmm. because that's you know something that you need to just have been born with like if you're not double jointed uh -huh. it's really hard to convincingly um so it does inform a lot of like my preferences in in dancing which i'm trying to to break out of like um, what uh i mean like because like i can do that it like enables me to make realistic you know waves and things like that but like the harder movements like you know popping and whatnot, those mm -hmm. don't come as natural to me mm -hmm. um, so i need to practice them more oh uh, i see so you're Bias to doing the things you're good at, which makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, d dancing is a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's uh, definitely a form of self expression. I was like, one, I, one thing I missed like, from pre COVID was uh, the, the dance studios being open. I yeah. feel like twice a week. Oh, yeah, I haven't danced since, since COVID. So. Yeah. We'll so, Though it was always individual dancing for me, or like, you know, you're learning choreography as a group. Mm -hmm. different from like partner dancing. Mm -hmm. no idea how to partner dance. Yeah, I feel like lots of swing communities are trying to be like doing things at home, but it's harder. So most of it's just like the jazz swing, stuff. Swing, swing your, your, your imaginary partner around. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, a police. <laughs> okay, let's see how this looks. <laughs> what else am I supposed to name? One police, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, Daryl, so did you do things other than woodworking while you were gone? 
Uh, did a lot of basic cooking. Nothing as fancy as the song. Just a lot of lentils, rice, beans, veggies. Mm. <laughs> Just that kind how, of food. How do you flavor your your beans? <laughs> oh, beans? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Usually we just mush it all up without a lot of flavoring and then just add lots of like salt or soy sauce or nutritional yeast and just mm -hmm. other stuff. That mm -hmm. sounds great. What kind of Wait, nutritional <laughs> yeast? What's <laughs> Say more words, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's delicious. It's got uh -huh. a lot of vitamin B12, I think. Um, nah, I don't, I don't know. Just it also has a very it. cheesy smell, right? Or like it's mm -hmm. like similar to cheese if you want to replace yeah, it. Yeah, it's often used as sort of like a cheese replacement. Mm. Okay, so now I'm doing coding. I feel like much earlier than yesterday. Um, police, I don't know. So I made a police car and then I put it on top of a random road tile, which is just the purple ones. Let's let's go find the police. It's random every time. And the roads are big. Hopefully we can find them. Choo choo choo. Choo choo. Who knows? Good turns. Thank you. you gotta speak. Okay. Police. Okay. So my idea is that the police will have a circle around it that's invisible, but we'll use it to do collisions. And the police will detect our speed. And if it's faster than like a legal speed, they'll start chasing us. And then we'll have like, oh yeah. So one thing I wanted to do is like have a suspicion meter. And mm -hmm. so if the police suspect us, they'll follow us. It'll keep on increasing. So we have to get off our bike and then we have to like drink coffee or eat a zucchini panini. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll go down, and then we can go back to racing. <laughs> Should the police start off on like the sidewalk tiles to kind of be like off the road, or oh, I'm yeah. just imagining where they're like stand, you know, like waiting with the uh, the radar gun <laughs> for you to come yeah. speeding by. Yeah, I like that. So they'd be on one of these. Yes, and then I'm gonna make a sprite. How big should the hit be? Maybe six. That's half a screen. Sure. I don't know. Dang. And then <laughs> the police, they have eyes. <laughs> this is a realistic game. And it doesn't matter what color we make this. Because it's going to be invisible. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Whatever size this is. One, two, three. One, I'm just taking three off. 57. <laughs> More realistic than 60. This police needs glasses. Okay, so circle, place. Okay, make a new. Uh, this, this will be called temp. I have a temp variable. Yes, let's place it. Temp. Why are you mad? Temp to rule them all. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna try to have minimum number of variables. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Tell me, please. I'm not assignable to sprite image oh just kidding <laughs> cannot do that new variable uh, i temp gave temp a type right yeah <laughs> also i was i was highly like in my mind when you said why are you mad i was always do, uh, appending comma bro question <laughs> mark. I, I would like it when it tells me what's going on then we can communicate fix it okay let's make this y and then a police x so let's just make sure it is where we hope it is. It should be. Also, we can check on the police, make sure that they are on the sidewalk. Mm. Oh, no. oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow. I'm assuming there's a police underneath there. <laughs> and, and also, this should be a bigger circle, I've decided. 80. Cover the road. Yeah. It'd be so silly if we drove past them and they were like, that's fine. We're like, but we're doing crime. Okay, let's make a big circle. That's not making a circle. What's going on? I had the wrong thing selected. Okay, big circle. I'll try again. Here. Good enough. And then fill it in. Oh, no. Brush. Can't see it anyway. Big brush. Yeah, it, it can happen.
have that green spot over there. I'm not, I'm not angry about that. And then let's make it invisible. Set temp sprite. Invisible true. So Daryl, do you play a lot of chess? What inspired the chess project? Um, I played chess more like sort of years ago during childhood. Um, and then my friend Max has uh, gotten really into chess. Mm. Um, and I was like, yeah, I want to I wanna get into chess. Like, what if we make a chess set? And now I won't let myself play chess until we have a chess set. Um, then, then I'll start playing chess. What a good motivator. Exactly, yes. <laughs> um, do you have moves? Moves? Yeah, like chess strats. Oh no, nothing, nothing that sophisticated. <laughs> I, when I was a kid, I would just like take all my pawns and put them into like a wall configuration where it's like one, then two, one, then two, and then once that was like you know gone past by a bishop, I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on now. Like the rest <laughs> of the match was basically for it, but I just wanted to get the wall set up. The mm, so wall. Well. <laughs> I feel like my library had a chess club, um, and my dad gave me a chess book, but I don't remember reading the chess book, and I don't remember being good at chess club. <laughs> but I like the idea of being in a chess club. Nice. Oh, there they are. Okay, better watch out. With the speed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Making Whoa. sure our collision works. Nice. Um, okay, cool. It looks like it's working. So let's let's do the suspicion meter. I don't don't really have an idea of what it's gonna be, but okay. So first, I did. I opened up the extensions thing and I picked up the status bar extension made by Joey, who is not here. And then if you open it up, lots of lots of lots of information. So we're gonna make a new status bar. Mm, sus we're gonna call it suspicion bar. Sus suspicion bar. Let's create new kind. Oh, now I wanna call it danger bar, but it's too late. Sus suspicion. Be in the danger zone then? Yeah, the danger. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a love of bad puns. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this at the bottom. Attach. Okay. No, I'm going to use that. Status bars are just sprites. So I'm going to set it at the bottom. Yes. Suspicion bar. Bottom to B. It's 160 by 120. It's 120 tall, so 120 minus like 4 is going to be 116. I did a lot of math while woodworking, Daryl. It was very stressful. <laughs> Interesting. I don't do a lot of math during woodworking. Really? Uh, Maybe just a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. I had, like, Mostly I size one piece off of other pieces. So I like I make a piece and then I'm like, okay, now this is the thing that I reference other things off of. Mm. But what about to... the first piece? Yeah, depends totally on what you're doing, I guess. Mm. So like your chessboard, no measuring at all. Well, there was a little bit. So we, you know, we cut strips um, to like roughly half inch. And then, um, and then whatever size that was, I measured and made everything else the same. If that makes mm -hmm. any sense. Mm, yeah, I see. So yeah, I'm transferring measurements a lot, but I'm, yeah. Yeah, for the table, it was like, we wanted it to be this tall because our chairs are this tall. Um, but for some reason that didn't work out. <laughs> it ended up being way taller than expected. Um, okay, what am I doing? I want to make the danger bar look beautiful. So set the danger bar 
Oh my gosh, I'm already calling it danger bar. Suspicion bar value to zero. Let's see. Is that green? Is that going to be red? Okay, right. So I wanted it to be inverse. So let's let's change the colors of the. Okay, so pull up display set suspicion bar. Sus sus suspicion bar. Fill is going to be red, and background is going to be purple. Oh, wait, no. Can we have a border? Drain color. Oh. No, drain color should be a good color because we're getting rid of suspicion. Orange is a good color. Background could be... Tan. Let's see, does this look... Do these colors make sense? Danger. No danger. Beige is not a dangerous color. Cool, cool. Okay, and then if current speed is greater than six, we'll, we're going to increase change danger bar. No suspicion bar. Okay, I, I need to change this name, rename variable danger bar value by one. Okay, now let's find our police and increase our danger. Not down this road, that makes sense. It's gonna be on a sidewalk. Oh no, I made myself slow. Oh, here, speed, whoa, danger. Okay, cool. Now we're like better, better, better slow down. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Well, maybe, hmm, okay. Now let's have a way to decrease danger. We'll get off the bike and let's do something with the cafe. Let's buy a sandwich. Hassan, do you have some, some, some thoughts? On the cafe I, or? Or anything, it sounded like you wanted to say something. Oh, uh, the danger bar filled very quickly <laughs> yeah, that's well, true guess. oh that's but is, is it was it based off of your speed as well or is it yeah it's based off of um, if you're like yeah going faster than six true but then should there be penalties on top of that or maybe that's something we can like later. like what do you like, mean like it was a speed it goes from like six to nine right yeah or like zero, zero to nine so like if it's you could check that oh you know if you're seven then apply like uh you know like a small multiplier to the danger. Oh. Like if you're going, like I feel like if you're going nine, that should be. You right. You right. Police will six. pull you over right away. Where where did it, I formatted it and now everything's gone. Yeah, so I, I don't want it to be like an instant you lost, but like. A, I don't know. It's like high risk, high reward. You know, if you go fast, you get there faster, but you're kind of in trouble if you run into police. Hmm. What am I doing? Where is my overlaps? Okay, let's let's do a Daryl format code. No, collapse blocks format code. Oh now. wow, nice. Classic Daryl move. I feel like when you were gone, Daryl, we identified all the things that you do, and we we're like, wow, Daryl has so many good coding habits, <laughs> except the one where you do things backwards. That one I don't like. Do things backwards? Oh. Question mark. So, my if statements. Yeah. <laughs> so the trick with if statements are. Um, so my computer science teacher told me that always make it look like a number line. Have smallest stuff on the left, greatest stuff on the right. So you only ever use less than signs. You never use greater than signs. Oh, interesting. So then if you have a really big compound expression, you can kind of read it as like between this and that. Uh, oh. Sort of yeah. stuck with me, but it's not strictly, you know, necessary, obviously. I think... The reason I make mine this way is because it reads to me like how I would think. If the current speed is bigger than six, um, but I like the number line idea too. I'll think about that some more. I thought you were just being contrary. You're like, you thought you knew what I was doing? Well, try this out, Bruce Dyes. If six is less than current speed. <laughs> sort of Yoda style. <laughs> six less than the speed is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. I think I just like having the variable on the left side of the expression and then like the mm -hmm. constants on the right, but it's I just the preference. What, 
most people think, which is why Daryl is notable when he does the Daryl thing. <laughs> okay, so we need to do this by some fraction. So is it going to have to be like current speed minus six? Okay, I'm going to make a, no, I'm not going to make a variable because that's, that's, that's too much. Current speed minus six. Oh, plus one, plus one, mm -hmm. <laughs> divided by um, three, six, seven, eight, nine, divided by four. Mm -hmm. So minus six is to see how far away from the six we are, because six is the max speed, and then after that, we want to see what fraction um, of the max speeds we are. And we're going to multiply this by yep. the penalty. So penalty, if you're speeding at 9, will be 4. And that's how much we're changing the value by. Times 4. Oh, wait, no. That's ridiculous. I'm just going to put this in here. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're simplifying the math. So let's see, let's get up real fast. Oh, hello. Let's just... Oh, cool. Oh, yes, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ninja fills up quickly. Okay, let's... I love how you're able to... You're, you're able to maintain all of your speed when you turn 180, you know? Just real good <laughs> redirection. <laughs> it's because we're on a bike, Daryl. High maneuverability. Why else would we be on a motorbike? Yeah. Yeah. But it yeah, so it takes up time to build up speed on a straight, but turn in it's, uh... <laughs> I think we can add that too. Okay, I'll add that when we do directions. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. I think it's I think it's charming. <laughs> I feel like the more I want this to be a realistic well, okay, we'll see. We'll see where this game goes. It's very yeah. open ended right now. You could do a few oh. things, right? Like you could make it feel looser by like adding momentum. Ooh. So it's harder to shift directions. But the, uh, that, that's like more of like an, an out of control feel than like the the tight cornering you get with the Yeah. Well, interesting. Maybe I'll I, I wanna explore that idea more because I feel like it's it's the energy of traffic jam, right? Cars and movement. But in the meantime, I don't remember why I dragged this out. Oh, right, we were gonna decrease suspicion by overlapping pedestrians. What is, what kind are what kind is the building? Building. It's kind of building. Um, I'm going to make a new kind. Rest. Okay. Rest. Our rant. Is that how he spelled it? No. Okay, and then nice. think, <laughs> thank you. I had to really think about it. Make this kind of restaurant. And then on kind pedestrian overlaps other sprite of kind restaurant. Give this give the pedestrian a coffee. No, a sandwich. Um should I make it a new sprite or should I change the image in the kind? Do you guys have thoughts, Daryl or Hassan? Mm. Mm. Like have them walking around like holding a sandwich? Or like yeah, just maybe like I'll... append a sandwich to them. <laughs> so. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I never understood why sometimes we destroy things versus why we would like hide them and ghost them. But yesterday I learned it's because it's much more difficult to maintain all the sprites. But I think for this one, I'm just going to set the image. Um, and then, yes. Yes, I'm going to set the image. Let's drag out the pedestrian image. Oh, oh no. What is the secret image? Okay. <laughs> Don't know. Okay, set the image. Now let's make a sandwich. It's gonna be toasted because it's a. Wait, does panini just mean pressed, or could it also mean toasted? I think paninis are usually pressed. Okay, In my mind like if I was having a pressed sandwich, it was also toasted. That's how it got pressed. But panini might just mean sandwiches. I have to double check. What? Yeah. Then why do we have the word sandwiches? Okay. Okay. Oh no, I 
onto the other one better. Okay, we're holding a sandwich. Let's add my favorite extension. I don't have a dream for this extension yet, but I feel like I'll use it. We're gonna bring in Arcade Sprite data. So it's my favorite because you can add information to things. So we're gonna set a Boolean on our Sprite to be has sandwich true. <laughs> and then I, I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but I like the idea of being able to know if I have a sandwich, a sandwich to be true. And then um, on a button pressed, we're gonna eat the sandwich. Um, okay, so let's do some checks. If we're not is walking, Wait, come back, oh no. Okay, take this one out. Put it around everybody else. Put everybody else inside you. That's fine. If not is walking. Um, then we'll make you walk. Otherwise, if we're walking, we might be wanting to do some activities like eating a sandwich. So let's check all our possible. Because my dream is we'll have other activities other than just sandwich eating. So if Sprite. Okay, we're gonna get the player data has sandwich. If we have a sandwich, then we're gonna eat the sandwich. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, panino just means sandwich. I don't, oh. I don't know what the etymology of the word is because mm -hmm. it seems like in English it's very Different. much so associated with like a very specific type of sandwich or maybe like the technique of pressing Ooh. but i don't know like english takes other words lots of times and just mm -hmm. rolls with them so isn't that like every, all languages are just like a, is that an english characteristic um well it seems like it's happens more in english than it does in other languages like we just take a lot of words mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the snow. Mm, yes, okay, I'll just I'll just bring the sandwich up to our face. And then oh, maybe I'll have like sandwich bites. You only get a few bites. Of, I'll decide that later. Maybe we should implement money. There's so much to do. <laughs> yeah, sandwich. <laughs> um then we'll pause. I think it's okay to pause. And then we're gonna set the image back to back to having the sandwich. Oh no. Okay. So let's see if we can get a sandwich. Oh yes, we have a sandwich and I push A. And we're eating the sandwich. Amazing. Yes. Great. So if we eat the sandwich, nice. I'm so happy. Um, also, little, I have these. Yeah. Like the sandwich eating was very, very nice. Thank you. Um, we'll change suspicion bar. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if you had to be near the police for the suspicion bar? So you seek the police out to go eat the sandwich near. Mm. Near. <laughs> I don't think that's realistic, but I think. It'd be funny in my heart. Um, boy, it's called danger bar. Oh my yep. gosh, change danger bar value by negative one. Mm, okay, so that's fine. And now we'll, we're gonna have an event. So in status bar, we can have of kind zero. Oh, is this new display updated? I've never used that before. Interesting. Of status bar of kind suspicion is zero, then what are we gonna do? We're gonna do, we're gonna do a splash screen of us in jail. Make, make a new sprite. Or it could be a ticket. Ooh, and then we lose money. Okay, <laughs> how should we get the ticket? Are we going to see the police coming towards us? 
And we put could it just uh, like show up, you know, like a full screen kind of. Here's your ticket. Mm, yeah. <laughs> or it could just be game over. Or maybe it's like you have a ticket and our permit is like we have we're, our license has been demoted, so we can't go so fast anymore. So let's do let's do a splash. Dare, do you have a suggestion on how to do that? I've never really done that before, other than making just like a huge sprite. Do you have thoughts? Um, there's in the scene category, Ooh. I think, or, or maybe it's the game category. Um, you can say, is it here? Or, oh yeah, so you can just say set dialogue, like in the dialogue uh, box, I think. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, I really so like yeah, I think one of these you can do. So if you just do like show long text or something. Yes. Okay. I, I like this because I'm going to make a dialogue cursor. That's the thing that's in the bottom right. I'm going to make that a ticket. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay. So show long text. Okay. Let's set the dialogue cursor at the top. We're only going to, oh, no. Let's set it here. Maybe we'll have other things. Oh, maybe we should see this when we get a sandwich. Someone will come out and be like, Thanks for visiting the shop. Support local businesses. And then we'll get a sandwich. Very exciting. So let's get a ticket. Great idea. Okay. What's your ticket? Well, oh, I've never... Are traffic tickets like golden tickets? What did they look like? I don't know. I've never mm. received one, so I cannot say. Me, ne me neither. <laughs> Maybe they're like pink tickets, like um, five. Like when you get fired, isn't that a thing? When you get fired, you get a pink ticket. P uh, pink slip. Pink slip. Y yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if like being fired or. It's the same energy. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. if you're being fired from your license, maybe in a sense. Yeah. Like, if you lost all your points in one go. <laughs> Actually, are the points the same in every state, or is that is that different? Um, I get you get points when you get tested in Illinois, at least. You earn the points when you get tested. Yeah, and well, you, or you, you get, get points license. if you're doing poorly, and if you have more than a certain, it's like golf. If you have more than a certain number of points, then you don't get a license. Is that oh, how it like, is in Colorado? No, I mean more like when you have a license, you have a certain uh -huh. number of points, kind of like a health bar you can think for your license. Oh, and I don't. Okay. Certain infractions carry higher point costs than others. Oh. So like a simple speeding ticket wouldn't be so much, but if you were like in an accident that like you know recklessly endangered the lives of others, that could be worth a lot more points. And so after you lose, I think all twelve points then your license is suspended for some period of time. I think at least six months. Oh, wow. Well, that's um, But yeah, so like you can, if you just were speeding, you could get there, but it might take you like four or five tickets um, versus like, you know, one DUI. Or, but I, I'm not sure how heavy the points are, but... Mm. Sorry, I just realized I did this backwards. So we don't want this on when suspicion is zero. We want it when suspicion is high. What is this? Display updated status. That's the bar and the image is something. Yeah. So I think uh, display updated is going to be the best you got. Or okay. game update. We were talking about changing that one event so that instead of just at zero, you could set mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like some some threshold. But that I don't think that's happened. Okay, I'll cool. write that down. Cool, cool. Thanks. I don't know. I'll do this because I'm excited about this new block. But on game update would also be fine. So I'm going to say if status bar. I'm going to get the value of the status bar by dragging this out, and this is the status bar value that we passed in. And if it is I'll do a Daryl. So, which one is bigger? This one or a hundred bigger than or equal to? We're never going to be able to get more. Then we're going to drive more carefully and then show a long text. 
got a ticket. And then we'll have it at center, full screen. Because the first one is the police talking to us. And then the second one is about the game. Okay, speed, 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 speed. speed. <laughs> okay, well, does not seem to mind. So what did I do wrong? If I like how they're parked right outside of the restaurant. <laughs> the police need to eat too. <laughs> Fair. Um, health display. Well, let's make sure that this is doing something. So let's say, let's have the the the, the motorist. No, the motor player. <laughs> Speed. Oh no. I found that bug already. Oh, well, now I'm hungry. <laughs> I only had popcorn. Oh. Okay, well, you're not saying anything, so you're not being triggered. Because danger is not being updated. We need to go faster, go faster, go faster. Okay, well, that's not working. What am I doing wrong? Do I not understand how this works on set? Let's, let's see what the help says. Ah, oh, that's too much reading. I don't know. Uh, let's do on game update. <laughs> on game update. Yeah. So you could. Yeah. Um, oh, well. So you could do it in the on game update, like at a certain time interval. Mm -hmm. So you're not doing it every every second yeah. because or every frame. Um, and then the other thing is, I I think it's constantly is it constantly re triggering because the status bar is not being lowered. Mm -hmm. Um, like shouldn't it just say speed anytime we're increasing the value? That's my understanding. Is that not correct? Um, oh, so, well, may, maybe continue, and let's just see what happens. Okay, yeah. I want to know how this block works, because it's mm -hmm. interesting. But for for progress sake, I guess we will pull out the danger bar. If the danger bar, please go in there. The danger bar value is greater than or equal to 100, then we'll get a ticket. Drive more carefully. You got a ticket. Okay. Oh, and then we better reset suspicion back down to zero. So status bar, set danger bar value to zero. Okay, go, go. What's it called? What's it called when you would display back and forth? There's like, is there like a term for that? What? Or is that like when the, the ticket oh. is being moved back and forth, is there a specific term for that or is that just wiggling that is? Wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Highly technical. <laughs> okay, now let's make a new sprite that indicates our tickets at the top right. New variable. Ticket. Mm -hmm. Let's copy this image. I feel like I want to change that image and make it look better. Um, but not today. So let's make a new kind of ticket. HUD? Is this HUD? It's up. And we'll put it at the top right. Mm. Yes. Ticket, ticket, right to B one fifteen. Ticket top to B two, and then okay. If danger bar value, okay. Wait, I want to see if we've already had a ticket before. Um, 
Can I see the existence of ticket? I feel like there's something weird that happens with that. There's if not ticket. Um, yeah, I forget if this works. I think it <laughs> won't work. Else. Um, I'm, I'm going to see what happens. Wait, your license. That's what happens, I guess. I don't know. So let's let's speed and see if we can get a ticket. Drive more carefully. Nice, you got a ticket. I'm taking away your license. That's fine. I don't All mind right. that. Okay, works. So is it game over at that point? Um, I think then you have to be a pedestrian. <laughs> And walked to the fly. <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> and let's see. What's this doing here? Who knows? On game update. Okay, license. So then let's see. What how okay on overlap? Okay. Mm, on A button pressed. I'm gonna pull this out into a function. Make me me a pedestrian. Okay. So we'll pull out our code in here. And then we'll call our function. Not going to look in the code to make sure if it's okay to pull it. I'm just going to hope that it was okay. And then we're going to call make me a pedestrian here. Now, the issue is we can still get back on our bike whenever we want. So now we got to set some new data on the sprite. So let's set the data on the, oh. So here's the issue. I have so many sprites and it's not all just, we have like the pedestrian sprite and we have like the motor sprite. So where am I going to keep this data on? I'm going to keep it on the pedestrian <laughs> the pl the player has license this is gonna be buggy i feel like i feel like i'm gonna forget that i put this on the pedestrian later um so i'm gonna remember now <laughs> it's on the pedestrian has license we're gonna set the player has license to be true to begin with. So then now when we overlap, format code, oh no, collapse blocks, then format code. So now when we overlap, overlap, aha, we will check if we have license. Sprite, Boolean, get that Boolean. Data, that's Boolean has license. Else, the sprite will say, I guess I have to walk. Yes, I have to walk. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's see. Okay, stop. Leave me alone. Where is the police? Drive more carefully. You got a ticket. Take away your license. Oh, okay. Don't worry about. It. Okay. Don't worry about. It. Okay. Don't worry. About it. Oh no. Okay. So we gotta make sure that we're driving when we <laughs> when that happens. Wait. Why does that? Oh, we gotta set the danger value on game update every 500 milliseconds. Um, set danger value to zero. And let's make a variable current mode. No, I have something for that already. It's going to be is walking. What am I doing? Um, 
or you were testing to make sure you couldn't get back on the bike. Oh, oh yeah, I couldn't get back on the bike, but it kept on telling me I'm taking away your license. So I changed the danger bar value to zero. I thought I might have to check to see if I was walking or not. Maybe this is good enough. Let's just let's just speed. Oh, it's already fifty. Speed, 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 speed. Try more carefully. You have got a ticket. Taking away your license. Oh yes. So yes, the issue is the the hit box the hit box overlaps. If current speed is bigger than six and we're not walking. So let's add some logic for that. So current speed is greater than six and is not walking. That means we're we're driving. Cool. And then we'll increase that. Maybe, we'll, yeah. I like it when the police is right here and I can test very easily. Drive more carefully. I'm taking away your license. Guess I have to walk. No, I want to drive. No. Nice. Okay. So, so is your speed still full? Oh, yeah. So speed, good call. I never changed that to be a pedestrian speed. So where is that? Make me a pedestrian. Move this player with buttons. What speed should we go at? 10. That's super slow. Oh my gosh. How painful. Maybe a little bit faster. 15. We we ride a scooter. We gotta have some kind of core. Must mean we're healthy people. Can walk at a pretty good speed. Um, what else? Okay, now I'm gonna make sure we can finish the game. So let's get back to editing the tile map. And, and, and here, let's zoom in. I'm gonna add a finish line. Oh no, oh my gosh, oh no. Okay, and drag. No, no, it's a bug again. And we push down and reopen. And I'm just not gonna zoom. I'm gonna make a new tile. It's gonna be black and white. High efficiency would be to fill it in first, and then checkers. Nice. Maybe I'll put a trophy in at the end too, so you know. Okay, and then on overlaps, on tile overlaps, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to think of I can do a high score, but it's hard because the smaller number is better. Whoa, so like was it? Yeah, um, let's just do game over, win for now, I guess. And then maybe I'll add with confetti effect. Oh, okay, now I'll just, just do that sometime. And maybe, okay, so we only have four, six minutes left. Someday I want to implement a, a rival for you to fight against. But I feel like sometimes when we make rivals, they're much better than us at the game. So, mm, not today. I'll make another building in the meantime. We can get more more things to do. What what kind of building should we have next to ease suspicion? We could do a coffee shop. Coffee shop. Okay. Well, I don't know. Is the panini paste more like a restaurant or like a bakery? Mm, that's up to you, Hassan. It's your place. <laughs> Fair. 
glass box format code. Let's pull out the make city because this is supposed to have a lot of stuff in, and but it didn't. So let's place. Let's make a new variable. Um, coffee shop. This will make a new kind. Coffee. And then we're going to place coffee shop on top of random x. And we're going to make this a tall sprite. It's going to be a tall coffee shop. And then we're going to start our words from scratch. And it's going to be the sunshine coffee shop. So then when you wake up and you see the sun, you're like, oh, right, I got to go to the sunshine coffee shop. And then you go there. It's very clever marketing because it uses the sun, which exists. Is their slogan, Rise and Shine. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I would like if their building looked like a sun rising over the hill. So I'll make the building green. Uh, and then we'll make the sun. Okay, let's make a roof too. We only have four minutes left. Wow. Did that's okay. I'll will make this look nice off stream too. Oh no. Um Hassan, do you drink coffee? Uh yes. Mm. But only when I started working a normal nine to five. Yeah. Before that my schedule was like wake up at 11 have like breakfast and lunch kind of together mm. have class until like three or four uh this is like back in college is my schedule was and then mm -hmm. work till six eat dinner and then work between like seven and one a.m and just oh go my gosh bed. and then it was hard go over to like one of the late night eateries and then you know go to bed at two wake up again at like 10 10 30. <laughs> I mean, I got, like, yeah, it was, a, I mean, you know, it worked for me, like, but that's unfortunately not a schedule that one can really keep in the the modern era. If you could, would you? Um, I, I would miss being able to ask coworkers questions. <laughs> uh, but I certainly do feel far more productive in the, yeah. either I have to be up at, like, the crack of dawn, I'm talking, like, 5.30 a.m. Like, I had, a, I had an internship that required that of me. Why? And I was so productive. Well, because it was really far away. I had like oh. a two-hour commute. Would not oh. recommend. But super productive that early in the morning. And also super productive late at night. Mm. And like the afternoon is okay. Yeah. So, that's, so coffee kind of helps supplement the, the kind of afternoon slump for me. But That makes sense. Daryl, do you drink coffee? Indeed. Probably mm. too much of it. Really? There's my latest batch. I only started drinking coffee because of COVID and I was at home and I was like, may as well do something in the morning that's not commuting. I get to work too quickly nowadays. You could have tea. Yeah, but the co coffee tastes so good. Uh, I love black tea. That's true. I like having it with milk. In Animal Crossing, they asked me what my favorite drink is and I said tea with milk. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, okay. you say Shayana in Somali. Oh. Literally just tea and milk. Yeah, I'm going to make a door and then we're, okay, I'm going to sign off while I make a door. So thanks everybody for joining um, our stream today, continuing this game that I'm going to make for Traffic Jam. Hope you have your traffic ideas coming up because it's going to start next week. So um, I'm Vivian. I'm at Lift Your Phone on the Make Code Forums. And I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Make Code Forums. I'm Hassan at Hassan on the Make Code Forums. And let's see if we see a coffee shop. Oh, oh yes, a coffee shop. Nice. <laughs> it's like a paintbrush. Okay, bye. <laughs>